Good afternoon and welcome to the 15th flag burning ceremony to celebrate the end of the Atlantic hurricane season. Um, I'd like to we dodged a few bullets this year. I'd like to introduce Matt Musad, who is the Vice Admiral of the Conquer Public Navy. Thank you, Deputy Director. Let's hear it for Deputy Director Sheila from the Conquer Public, the CIA, the Cuties in Action. Yeah. As uh, Sheila Loma said, I'm Matt Musud, Vice Admiral of Conquer Public Navy and uh, Fleet Commander. Uh, Admiral Finbar is on special orders, as is Admiral Grosskup, and that is why they're not with us tonight. Uh, I'd like to welcome everyone here to the Ingham, and thanks Mike and Bill and the whole crew here, who does a great job in uh, hosting us again this year, as they always do so graciously. Um, and we have some uh, dignitaries that we want to announce their presence. We have Secretary of State Jim Gillerin. Jim's the one who organizes all this and puts it all together for us. We have Secretary of Astroconf's Mike Mongo. Yay! I love him. I don't know if Chip Casper made it. Anybody see Chip? No, Chip. Okay. Uh, well, I'm going to ask the color guard now to post the colors. So, color guard, post the colors. Color Guard post the colors. We're going to salute the colors with the Pledge of Amer Allegiance to America and then to the Concrete Public Pledge. Attention on deck. General Cabanas, please lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible. Liberty and justice for all. I will now lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance to the Conk Republic flag. Remember, this is a left handed salute. I pledge allegiance to the flag of my tiny island nation and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under the sun, indivincible, indivincible. where the liberty is true and the justice is divine. Two. Long live the Conk Republic. Long live the Conk Republic. All right. Um, Reverend Randy Becker, our chaplain, is also on special orders and couldn't be here, so he sent some words. Please bow your heads if that's what you do. O oh, spirit that creates, sustains, and reunites that stretches over the land and sea and through the skies. As we reach the calendar end of another hurricane season, we remember we have not attached the end of the heartaches and losses created by the hurricane this year. We have not moved beyond the fears and worries recalled when the winds did blow and the seas did rise. Remind us that we live in a natural world that is filled with beauty as well as awesome power of sustenance and as well as destruction of hope as well as grief. In our thanksgiving for the passing of the season, know our hearts are with those who have lost and those who have been fearful, and all those who have known the fierce force of nature swirled in the eddies of power beyond our making. As we move into a more peaceful time, when weather will more bless us than harm us, lead us to ways of gratitude and preparation. This we pray to be our benediction in whatever words and images we hold most dear, that when the winds again blow and the seas again rise, we will be prepared in body, mind, and spirit to be agents of blessings, of hope, and faith. Amen and blessed be. Done with that page. Okay. Uh, how about that? Pretty good. All right. Um, I'm now going to introduce 
the commanding officers or the respective representatives of the Comp Republic military forces. With the CIA, we have Deputy Director Sheila Sands Devendorf. With the Air Force, we have General Raymond Cabanis. Yeah. With the Army, we have General Scarlett J. Summers. Yeah. With the Marines, we have General, General Brian Vest and uh, Major General Laura Talley. With the Navy, you got me. Yeah. You already met me. Can't do with, them, Matt. <laughs> with our Naval Reserve, uh, we have uh, Captain Mike Chevrel from Cutter Ingham. Who's running around somewhere. With U.S. Coast Guard State from Key West, we have Chief Warrant Officer Carrie Jung, who is also Commandant of the Comp Republic Coast Guard. From U.S. Coast Guard Sector Key West, we have Captain Adam, Captain Adam Shammy. They brought some folks along with them. Make sure you meet them afterward. And with our Black Ops Division, we have uh, the Commanding Officer Joe Black, who, well, as always, he's missing in action. So we know Joe's out there doing some good work for us. Okay, uh, some folks were asked to make some uh, remarks. Dr. John Norris. Oh, Dr. John Norris. Well, he's coming. He's okay, in the program. I'm, uh, thank you. I'm here for you, man. Thank We're you, not... John. <laughs> we didn't get to that part yet, but thank you. Um, okay, so after that, okay. Uh, I had some statements sent in from some folks who couldn't be here, and our first one is from the Prime Minister of the Comp Republic and current mayor of the city of Key West, Terry Johnston. And from the mayor's desk, we have, good afternoon, everyone. I cannot think of a more appropriate way to kick the 2020 Key West hurricane season to the curb than to send it up in flames. As these burning numbers fade, let us all usher in a kinder and gentler season in 2021, long live the Conk Republic. Now uh, we'll have some words on uh, <clears throat> behalf of the Speaker of our House, Paul Menta, will be uh, Mike Mongo of the Astro Conks. Ladies and gentlemen, Mike Mongo, pa 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 pow. I got my own song. I think everybody should have their own theme song. I am grateful for everyone being here today. Here today, I, I am representing Paul Menta, Speaker of the House, who is also on, on special duty, quarantine. All of us out here today celebrating, burning the flag, this remarkable hurricane season that we made it through, largely unscathed. Let us keep in mind our neighbors, our, our sisters and brothers in Central America and in the Caribbean. We didn't, we didn't make it out so easy. And all the help that we've sent them this year in exchange for the help that they've sent us in the past. Let's all keep that in mind today. We are so grateful for everybody who's here today. Paul Menta's sent a message for, for, for me to read on his behalf. Hello, I am Mike Mongo, your title. And I am here to deliver a message from Speaker of the House, Paul Menta. Greetings all. As you know, I have been on the front lines battling the COVID virus by making sanitizer, codename rumatizer, which has had a great effect on the virus because high proof rum, like on this flag today, will burn it up. Unfortunately, I was wounded during battle, exposed to people positive with it. But in quarantine, we're prepared to do battle again. We need your help as this virus is a tricky bastard and doesn't show symptoms when an innocent people. Am I allowed to say bastard? Yeah. Related. So the sacrifices I ask you for, for are wear a mask, wash your hands so we can battle this virus and keep our economy open. A small sacrifice until we get weekly testing and vaccines. Long live the Conk Republic. Thank you, Mike. Now our Secretary of State, Captain James Gilleran, will share a few words. Yay! 
pleasure to be here today on these hallowed grounds, these grounds of the United States Navy, United States Coast Guard, and of the Conch Republic. In front of this vessel, the most decorated vessel in the United States Coast Guard history, from what I understand. We're fortunate to have a partnership here in the Conch Republic, not only with the various branches of the United States military, but with our medical community and with our government, existing government here now. We are under siege by coronavirus. We declared war for the second time in our history, and we will prevail. We will prevail as a community standing united, and we will get past this. Appreciate everyone coming out here together and standing on one uh, human family to coron coronavirus here in 2020, here in Key West. Thank you for coming. Thank you, Captain. Also, someone who couldn't be here is Dennis J. Wardlow, the first Prime Minister of the Conk Republic and Mayor Emeritus of the City of Key West, who was there on the court steps that fateful day in April of 1982. Good afternoon, everyone. Once again, we are extremely fortunate to have avoided hurricanes this year. Lots of rain, but no hurricanes. We are here today to burn this year's hurricane flag and celebrate the end of another season. Hopefully in the near future, we'll be able to burn the masks. The city is working hard to inform the public and advising everyone to wear masks in closing prayer. Please remember that the Cates family is uh, in need of all your thoughts and prayers. Long live the Conk Republic. Long live the Conk Republic. And the last uh, words I get to say, these are some of the best ventriloquists in town. They're not even here and they got me talking. <laughs> words from our very own Admiral, Conk Republic, Supreme Commander, Admiral Finbar Gittleman, First Sea Lord, welcome to all of you and welcome to all of our virtual friends out there. I deeply regret I cannot be with you in person because I'm under COVID-19 quarantine. I have not tested positive, but was exposed to someone who had. And as we say in the Conk Republic military, safety first or third. <laughs> I think of our end of hurricane season burning of the hurricane flag celebration as our Conk Thanksgiving, and we Islanders will be very thankful this year. We had a couple near misses ourselves. We, we were fortunate not to suffer any casualties or major damage here in the Conk Republic. However, it has been a terrible hurricane season in many parts of the world, especially for those folks on the Gulf Coast, Central America, and the Philippines who are not as fortunate. May our hearts and thoughts be with those who survived as they rebuild their lives, and we grieve for those who did not. Color Guard, retreat the colors and prepare the hurricane flag for burning. I just got to burn that one too. <laughs> that never happened before. 2020. Okay. Uh, I got uh, Jeff. You got a lighter? I do not. Okay. Yeah, I got a blow blowtorch. Blow 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 no, no, I got a blow Okay, so, uh, you gotta be away from the wind, Jay. You know? no. <laughs> I don't know. Underneath this would be amazing. Yeah, like it as a be, spectacle. It'd be a picture yeah, for this. Yeah. So I got, I got Dr. Jack. Like, Here we are. Got, wow. Okay. Nice. Okay. So I uh, in the general team. So, so holding the flag, we have. General Jay Summers from the Conk Republic Army. Dousing the flag, we have Mike Mongo of the Astro Conks. And the uh, ceremonious lighter will be our Chief Medical Review Officer, Dr. Jack Norris. Oh, you're good, man. Don't get it on your clothes. Especially when you're lighting it. Not when you're lighting it. <laughs> 
All right, we're good to go. On my command, burn that flag, yes, doctor. Everybody ready? One, two, three. Burn those flags! That's three years in a row we got it to burn. There must be something in that uh, magic bottle Mike had there. You got legal rum. That's how you know it's uh, real, folks. All right, so that's pretty much it. I want to thank you all out there in Internet land. And for those of you who ventured out, uh, next year we'll do this bigger and better as we normally do. And these restrictions will be lifted, I'm sure. Uh, please be safe out there. And let's be thankful that uh, we did not sustain any major damage. With that, uh, I bid you all adieu. Long live the Comp Republic, and long live each and every one of you.